So that's why we came here today to ask you to also look into the policies that religious charitable organizations have in our legislation so that it can also be changed because maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> and the crowd roars. Yeah, well, it's quite, the, it's quite the performance. I mean, I'm afraid that our Prime Minister is only capable of running his ideas on a few very narrow ideological tracks. We saw the first evidence of that when he put his cabinet together. He insisted upon making it 50 percent women, despite the fact that only about 22 percent of the elected MPs were women. And it was easier for him to do that than it was for him to screen people for the sort of competence that would actually be necessary mm. to be cabinet members. So we've seen a fair bit of this behavior, but that was the most egregious example, I suppose. Dr. Peterson, I recall you uh, taking some heat because you said you would refuse to use these gender neutral pronouns. Why was that? Well, I actually said that I would refuse to use the pronouns that were mandated by law because they were mandated by law. I feel that it's completely inappropriate of the government to decide what language the citizenry should speak. There's never been an example of that in British common law history, and I believe that that was a very, very bad precedent. I didn't want to use language that I thought was generated by radical leftist propagandists, and so I said I wouldn't do it. I saw one tweet this morning that said Neil Armstrong should have said one small step for people kind. Yeah, well, you know, Trudeau was listening to an earnest woman try to discuss something important, and he interjected an ideological um, statement in the middle of the dialogue, and that indicates, I think, precisely the way he thinks. And I don't think he does think. I think he runs an ideology in his head and accepts the output without question. And I think we're really going to pay for it in Canada in ways that we can't yet imagine.